welcome everyone to the second all-time Linking Your Thinking conference. We're in for a wild four days. Thank you for joining me. If you don't know, I'm Nick Milo, a founder of Linking Your Thinking. The whole purpose behind this conference and its predecessor is to get really interesting people in a room together so we can start talking and learning from each other. So the NOMA method, NOMA note making, insights and minutes that last a lifetime. The NOMA method is about note making because note making gets you leaning forward. There are two ways that we can approach knowledge. One is sitting back where it's coming in at us and we consume it. This is what happens when we go on a binge on Netflix, if we, if we still do this, and uh, we watch too much. We get overwhelmed, overloaded, just all of this noise coming in. That's sort of note taking. Note making is where we stop leaning back and we lean forward. It gets us engaged in the world of ideas around us. And this makes all the difference. It sharpens our thinking and it gives us intellectual assets. So the process of note making is actually going to give us something each time we do it. That's a nice side benefit. And guess what, everyone? You are already doing it. You are already doing it. The only difference is you may not be doing it effectively enough in the world of the linked note, in the age of the linked note. So with that in mind, we are going to hop into that a little bit more. First, what is note making? Let's set the scene a little bit more. What is note making? There's note taking, and then there's note making. So if we look at note taking, that's where we quickly capture someone else's words. And the key there is there's somebody else's words. It's a passive action, and it's oftentimes driven internally, if we really are true with ourselves, by a fear of missing out on something. It's a mentality that has a scarcity mindset. We're, we're worried we're going to lose something. Visually, we're shrunken in, hoping that we don't lose this little thing. But when we do that, it is an acronym, easy in, easy out. The stuff that comes in easily is not going to be retained. It's just going to go out just as easily. Now let's contrast the note taking with note making. Let's see how that will look. Note making. These are notes that are mindfully made. They're in your words, and it is an active activity. Sometimes when I say this, it feels like common sense, and I really hope that Five years from now, we finally, as a society, move away from bad note-taking habits that were drilled in us in a lot of our upbringings and move into something that is truer to how we interact in our day-to-day -day lives by making, by engaging, by being active. Overall, if there's FOMO with note-taking, the process of note-making is JOMO, the, the joy of missing out. You're okay to block out some of that noise because you're in on the action that matters to you. Mimo. So this is what's beautiful about note making, as we'll soon find out. Mindfully in, magically out. When I talk to Ann Laura later, I think we'll really get into this magically out part because I do wanna make sure that we all chew on this idea that when we're note making, we don't always know what's going to come out but we will generate something. What is inevitable if we do it long enough is that you've increased the surface area of innovation, of creativity. You've given yourself an opportunity to create things that you would have never imagined. Note making is the act of investing in yourself. It gives you linkable assets and linkable assets link together. They build over time. They form things that we don't even know what they're going to be sometimes they can easily become our own intellectual assets that power and fuel our career and our creative endeavors. I really wanna make a point clear here. Sometimes you know why you are note making. You want to share what you're writing with other people. But just as often, you don't know why you're doing it. You just feel something. You feel a spark of curiosity. And if you've given yourself permission and I, if, you, if you need permission, here is permission. Explore those sparks. Explore those trails. They're going to lead to something oftentimes profound. 
not in the next minute, but maybe in the next month. We just don't know. That is the beauty of following our own interests. No matter the reason though, note making is the act of investing in yourself. Okay, so we have 10 more minutes. What are we going to cover in that time? The Noma method itself. This will power everything you do, hopefully for the, the rest of the sessions this week. If you get those repetitions, hopefully you keep doing it after this week. The Noma method itself is a simple way to make insights in minutes that last a lifetime. Insights in minutes that last a lifetime. So here it is in only five, five prompts. Now, in, in some of the other activities we do in, in the workshops, we go more into different exercises and plenty of different prompts, but this is the Noma method in five prompts. First, you need to be a thing finder. Notice when you say this to yourself, that's interesting. Hmm, that's interesting. You don't even know, we don't even know we say this half the time, but notice when you do. That's when you found something, a thing, and it's worth exploring. It's worth making a note on. So that's number one. Whenever you see that's interesting, the note making method can start. But instead of clipping that interesting thing, instead of collecting it, instead of highlighting it even, you say, that reminds me. That reminds me. And this makes all the difference. It takes you from a note taker to a note maker. If you remember nothing else, remember and work on this phrase. That reminds me. It will get you into an active mode of thinking. That reminds me of a thing, of an experience. And what is this? What are we talking about right now? If you could type in the chat, you might say, that is a connection. That is a link. That reminds me of a thing. We've just tethered two things together. If we want to recall something, this is how we do it. Then number three, it's similar to that thing because, so this is similar to that because, it's different because. So this is really allowing us to be active and parse together the differences, parse out the differences between things. And then last, it's important because. This is tough. Something sparks with us. We don't always know why it's important, but this is an important question, an important prompt, because it gets us answering and really understanding why did we single out this signal versus the rest of the noise? Why did we do it? This prompt gets you to really check in with yourself. Why did I do this? Why, out of everything out there, I chose to focus on the term combinational creativity, as we'll focus on in 18 minutes with Enlor. Why? Why is that important? Guess what? That's it. And we can't take it further. Like I was talking about, there are plenty of other prompts. Some of my favorites are left off, including the personified prompt. But that's enough to make insights in minutes that last a lifetime. Just those five things. We'll review them one more time. But to repeat, you are already doing this just maybe not in a reliable way that can build idea assets for you. If I capture things here, this is great. This might be enough. But if I want to build ideas that can grow, interact, connect with each other, I may want to use a next generation thinking tool. But that's up for you to decide. You can always do the note making method as you walk around wherever you go, regardless if you have a screen in front of you or not. All you need to do, though, is to think about how you can make a note and link it. And what is the key prompt out of those five prompts? The key prompt. That reminds me. That is it. You might be asking, OK, what should I note make them out about? And I can tell you, well, there are about 13 things that come to mind, and they all happen this week. So let's explore those right now. If you are making notes, why not make a note on the NOMA method? And you say, well, this method reminds me of something else. That's what you do. You say it's similar to that thing because it's different because, and it's important or it's not important because. And then I would say, make a note right now. Combinational creativity, it's coming up in 15 minutes. Make a note right now. Have it ready with those prompts. And then instead of note taking during our conversation, 
you'll be note making. And then right after that, if you don't already, have a note on Zettelkasten and on Lite, L-Y-T. What is it exactly? Well, we can find out through a note making process. Five prompts, that's it. And you'll really accelerate everything you know, not just today, but now you have those. You have these notes that you've made actively that you can always link to everything else in the days, weeks, years to come. Wednesday, the cultural tutor, Sheehan Quirk, comes on. You'll have a note, at least one, I'm, I guarantee you, something on culture. And then Etcha is to, going to talk about Scrintle and Tools for Thought. And then we have Yolanda Gibb on ambidextrous creativity. Mm, that seems like a pretty good note to make something on. That is definitely a thing that I say, that's interesting. Thursday, we have Peter Rosso talking about thesis writing. We also have a research roundtable. We'll definitely cover collaborative knowledge management. What is linking, thinking all about link notes? And we'll do that with Bianca, Joel, Joel C., and Maggie. And then we'll finish Thursday with Mike Vardy talking about time crafting. It's always easy when there's something like time crafting, one of these nouns, because that is a thing. We can grasp it. It's a concept. It's a handle that we can grasp onto, make it a new note, and go through the five prompts of the NOMA method. That is what we do. On Friday, Joy Cafone is going to come on to talk about the laws of creativity, his new book. So pretty cool, I think. I mean, this is a beautiful book. Everything that Joy does is, is just a work of design art. And you'll definitely find at least one law of creativity that you'll want to make a note on. Priya Mohan is going to talk about design thinking strategies in STEM. Definitely want to check that one out. Danny Hatcher, extended cognition. And then I'll finish everything up that Friday with something I can't tell you right now. It is redacted, but I'll reveal that word on Friday and hopefully tie everything together. So for each event, do the NOMA method. And remember, take a screenshot right now. All you need are these five prompts, whether you are at the grocery store or in front of your computer. That's interesting. That reminds me, it's similar because, it's different because, and it's important because. Those are the five prompts of the NOMA method. If the NOMA method could speak, it would shout, the best time to plant an idea is yesterday. The next best time is now. I am looking forward to our upcoming events. So until then, stay connected. And I look forward to hearing how the NOMA method works for you.